Hi, Robert. Welcome to Chicago, Sylvain. <laughs> thank you, and uh, thank you for actually uh, sponsoring us and providing the, the Johnson Whiskey Tot, I think. Yeah, and without these, the event wouldn't have been the same. I mean, you... Well, thank you very much. It's our pleasure. Um, and we, we think that we have a lot of experience that we've had the glass out. I think it's five, five or six years now. And um, even people, uh, when people first experience drinking uh, whiskey neat yeah. out of an old-fashioned glass and out of this, even guys like... Um, like Willie from Isle of Jura, we shared a stage at a, a whiskey festival in Connecticut. Willie King. Uh, yeah, uh, a couple of years ago, and you know the brand ambassador knows his brand, right? Oh yeah. He almost went out of his mind when he tasted the, uh, out of the Johnson's whiskey top. So um, he was just almost completely crazy. <laughs> so anyway, good to be here. All right. Can and thank you for. How did you choose Chicago? Well, I chose Chicago because five years ago I uh, went to the uh, the Whiskey Fest, which uh, was hosted at the at the Hyatt. Oh yeah. And the Hyatt was quite expensive, and I I, I look up on the internet, which was uh, around, and I found the Hotel Seventy One, and I thought this is a cool name. And we went there, and I just fell in love with the uh, with the hotel, basically. Mm -hmm. So uh, I decided if I'm doing an event, I mean. I'll, I'll do it at the Hotel 71, which is uh, way better than the, uh, the Hyatt or the other hotels. Well, it's a boutique kind of an experience, exactly. which it's, comes it's right it's back down to, you know, finely crafted whiskeys and handmade stemware, and it's sort of a, kind of fits together a little bit better, doesn't it? Oh yeah, can you tell us a little bit uh, about the story of the Johnson Whiskey Tot, how it originated? Uh, there's, a, there's a fellow in um, Phoenix. Arizona named David Johnson who's been associated with our company since the beginning and he is he has one of those encyclopedic memories he remembers everything he's ever drank everything he's ever tasted the people he was eating it with where he was everything he's I he remembers everything I don't remember anything <laughs> anyway David um, has had, had this glass in mind for a long time and when we met, then it was only a year or so later before, as we became friends, he asked if we would produce it before. And at the time, for our company, it was the first glass in our product offering that wasn't a wine glass. So it was kind of a big step out. But um, we made a few and we took them around and tasted them with people here in Chicago so I could see for myself what David was talking about. And people were just dazzled by the effect of the glass that the glass has, concentrating the bouquet, This we have two shapes going on here. You've got this one tapering in, concentrating the bouquet right where your nose is, and then this rolled out rim lets the beverage wash all the way across your palate instead of focusing it down the center of your palate, like uh, the nosing glass does that's made by my friends from Glencairn. And um, so it has a dr really dramatic effect, and more so than a straight rim glass. And, the proof is in the tasting. I mean, by now, I have no idea how many of these we've sold across the, around the world, but people buy them and keep reordering them, so they, you, there must be something right. It's a good sign. Not <laughs> and these are nearly unbreakable. Nearly. Are, they are dishwashers. On top of that. Uh, it's handmade crystal, but in the mid-90s, we... Uh, our founder in Italy worked for five years to create a crystal that would be dishwasher safe and we were the first company, as small as we are, we were the first company in the world to have one. So it's not unbreakable but it's very durable and it is dishwasher safe. Well thank you so yeah. much for having provided this wonderful pleasure whiskey and glass. Best of luck in future years, we hope to be associated all along. Yes, we're into building long-term relationships. <coughs>